Yo, I'm in the building. Well, the kitchen. What is up guys? It is your girl Boss Evans here and I'm back again with another video. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and become a part of the family. Don't forget to check out all of my social media. They will all be linked down below. And today, we are in my kitchen. Today, I'm doing my first seafood boil. I have all my ingredients already chopped up, cleaned, and laid out. So we're about to go through all the ingredients and I'm going to show you guys a very, very simple way to do this so let's get to it all right guys so i have all my seeds um all of my ingredients laid out on the counter so i'm just going to show you guys i have some sausages here this is um smoked sausages it's not the spicy one so i just chopped those up and then i have some corn these are three corns but i cut them up into smaller pieces i have some potatoes over here that i sliced up and then i have some um mini peppers so i just cut those up a little bit i do have my jumbo shrimp over here now these jumbo shrimp don't worry my hands are clean these jumbo shrimp i um cleaned them out already but i did leave the shell on there because i kind of want the shell on there and then i have my crab legs that um i let sit in water for a little bit um, those are all the stuff that I'm going to be using. Now over here I do have two pieces of salmon but that's just going to go in the oven separately. That's not going to go in the oven with all of these. So now for my seasoning I have some paprika powder. I have black pepper. Now I'm in the process of cutting out dairy in my diet completely so I don't use regular butter anymore. So this is the butter that I use. I use avocado butter. It's a plant based butter. Um, let me kind of clear this up for you guys. It's a plant-based butter. So that's the butter that I use now. I am going to make some rice because I don't want to eat all of this um, without no rice. I'm a rice person. So with the rice, I do have some black beans over here. I have some mixed seasoning. And then I have Obey seasoning. I got the hot one. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with this. I don't have any lemon juice. I went to the store and they ran out. So I'm kind of upset. But I do have two lemons. I have another one in the fridge that I'm going to chop up as well. I have some adobo. I have some garlic. Chopped garlic. And I love adding garlic to my food. It adds such an amazing taste. I have some Cajun seasoning. Which I also love very much. And then I have some um, chopped red peppers. I have my oven bag. Now all of these are going to go in the oven bag with the seasoning. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do that. And just a quick second. Alright guys. So I'm going to start um, cooking. Shout out to my niece. My niece is holding the camera right Hello. now. Hello. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with the crab legs. So what I'm actually going to do for the crab legs is I found this trick. So let me open it. Okay, so I actually found this trick to do with crab legs. Mind you, this is actually my first time eating crab legs. So what I'm going to do is, since I want in here to be seasoned, what I'm going to do is um, some of my Obey seasoning, I'm going to put it. Some of my Obey seasoning, I'm going to put it on here. You got to look at the camera to make sure that you can see. You can see? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on here like this. And then I'm going to take my avocado butter. And I'm going to put it in here and cover it. So that way when it cooks, all of it melts down. And that's how you get the seasoning on the inside. Okay? So I'm just going to put that in there. Drop that in my bag. I'm going to drop about three four potatoes I'm gonna do two corn it's gonna be yours so yay I'm making my niece her own bag <laughs> she loves seafood okay I'm gonna take some um, shrimp do I want to season the shrimp I was gonna season the shrimp separately but I'm not gonna do that I'm just add some shrimp in there and I already cleaned out the shrimp and I de-veined it and cleaned everything in the middle. I'm going to add a little bit of peppers in there. I already add the corn. And then 
I'm gonna put some sausages in there I did want to fry the sausage a little bit um but I think that's what I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna fry the sausage because I don't want I want my sausages to be a little bit crispy so I'm gonna actually fry the sausage before I put it in there Add in some of the Old Bay seasoning. Um, I love Cajun seasoning, so I'm adding some Cajun seasoning in there as well. I'm gonna add some adobo. I don't like putting too much adobo because it makes me sneeze. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna add some. Um, complex mix seasoning this has um garlic and onions in it a little bit of black pepper because we are about to put some paprika powder in here so a little bit of black pepper and then a little bit of paprika's powder just a little bit And now I'm going to add some chopped garlic. Get a spoon. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take a lemon. I was trying to get some lemon juice, but I couldn't get any. I'm just taking the seeds out of here. And I'm just going to squeeze a fresh lemon in here. Alright guys, so... My seafood bag is already tied up with my butter and everything in here. So I'm going to actually pop this into the oven. Well, I'm going to make my other seafood bags because I'm making this for my whole family. So I'm going to make my other seafood bags because I still have ingredients. I actually have to reopen this up because I have to put the sausages in there. And then I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like in the oven. All right, guys. So everything is all added in there. This is what my seafood bag is looking like right now um i added everything in there i did add another big two sticks of butter because i want that butter to melt down all of that seasoning that's in there so i'm about to tie the bag up and i'm about to put it in the oven now as you guys can see i have one two three four bags i told you i'm making it for my whole family because everybody always want food when i cook so I'm going to add these bags in there and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the oven. The bags are going to kind of like inflate a little bit, but don't worry. They're not going to blow up. They're oven bags, so they're meant to be in the oven in the heat. So I'm going to cook these for 45 minutes on 350 and I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, guys, so like I told you, the bag will look like it's going to explode. Trust me, it's not. It's not going to explode at all. So this has about five more minutes and then it's going to be done. Okay guys, so we are all done. Here is all four bags of seafood. I am a little bit mad because my nails ripped a hole in one of these bags. So some of it leaked out. My nails is long as shit. So, you know, you know how things go. But yeah so these are all four bags of seafood i'm gonna add in some pictures at the end on how they look once i take them out the bag but this is my seafood boil guys i hope you guys enjoy try this recipe and send it to me on my instagram my instagram will be linked down below and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your sunday bye